Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi and for today I want to discuss the topic of construction drawings. A lot of people hear me talking about construction drawings, but what am I really talking about? I mean, you know, all I know about is a blueprint and I get my house built. So that's how most people talk. Um, so that's why I decided to make this video uh, to explain to you what are construction drawings. So let's get into that. Well, what is a construction drawing? A construction drawing, huh, those are what you call, or for layman terms, the building plan or some blueprints. Now, construction drawings are not only of buildings, construction drawings are drawings that you use to actually do um, construction of anything, right? It can be of a car, of a house, of a boat, you name it. As long as it's drawings that contains information on how to assemble or how to, to um, construct something, then it's considered as a construction drawing. Now, there are multiple types of construction drawings. For example, in the whole construction industry, there are multiple types of drawings that you need to have in order to make a building application, right? Um, so therefore, once you are doing a cons um, once you're doing a building application, then you need all of these sets of drawings to be put together to submit to the local parish council so that you can get approval. All right. Now, for Jamaica, um, whenever you're submitting a building application or requesting approval for a building to be constructed you need the following so within jamaica you need a, a certain set of drawings in order to get approval you need the structural engineering drawing you need the civil engineering drawing you need the architectural drawing you need the plumbing plumbing and electrical drawing so those are the mep drawings Right, you need four, those four sets of drawings together within your set of drawings in order for the parish council to, to accept them and review them for approval. All right. So all of those are construction drawings. In addition to that, you have actually shop drawings. Right? Shop drawings are those drawings that have are, that are the smaller details that needs to be constructed or smaller items. So, for example, a manufacturing company, say, that does windows and doors or does furniture, right? Um, they would require shop drawings within their organizations to show how these items fit together, what parts are needed, what are the size of these, these um, items, so that they can set machinery to, you know, at, for those specific measurements so that they can either cut, um, make, um, you name it um, so those those drawings are for that purpose now it doesn't mean that construction does not have shop drawings because shop drawings can even be of say an expansion joint for a building so, uh, or a sidewalk it can be an expansion joint so a shop drawing a shop drawing is something that comes after it it's not I said it's not included in the joint for approval, right? So the shop joint might be um, a, a, a contractor is on site and he needs to do something and he's unable to do it because he doesn't understand or doesn't have the relevant information. The architect will then prepare that that you know one sheet of drawing and that is considered as a shop joint and then send it to that person. They will now be able to construct that particular one, all right? All right, you have finishes drawing as a construct as a part of the construction drawing. Finishes drawings, they those actually come after after the submitter. All right, so you don't need to have those in the the actual submittal document. So the finishes, as it suggests, are finishes. Most of the times, um, the person that does the finishes drawings is the interior decorator well interior designer um probably the landscape architect they do, do that as well as well as the architect or the architectural technologist 
right? They do, do those, but those come after. So what the building is being constructed, um, say before you actually get the different finishes that are supposed to be in a building, they will go in and specify that, okay, this material for this location needs to be this. Um, the, the ceiling material has to be of a certain type. You know, the interior designer or decorator will come in and do that, those types of drawings, right? Um, you have landscape drawings as well. Landscape architects do those um, as construction drawings. So they will specify what type of layout the, 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 the particular land space is, um, which, which tree or which shrubbery, which plant goes where, um, how much of the plant you need, uh, you name it as it relates to the landscape, how they want it to be laid out. They will specify that on those construction documents and then get hand it over to the contractor. Most of the times, these drawings are not necessarily, they don't necessarily go to the client. Why? Because the client do not understand them in the first place. Um, most clients understand 3D drawings or 3D models and stuff like that, or physical models. They do not understand the actual construction documents. Um, the most, the person that that goes to is the contractor. So, I hope this helps you. I hope um, this was meaningful for you. If it is that you like this type of information, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'm going to actually show you on my next video how to detail a drawing properly. Um, I've spoken to a lot of architects and the problem that they have um, with, with um, those that actually detail their drawings is that they don't understand how to put um, dimensions on drawings. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you the proper way to put um, dimensions on your construction drawings. All right? So see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for liking. Thanks again for subscribing. And stay tuned. Remember, I'm actually giving away giving away a washing machine I'm not gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it yet in this video so stay tuned for that the only way that you will know is if you subscribe 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 to the channel and then I'll release a video telling you how you can win a washing machine a brand new washing machine never been used before I've never used it I have it I've already bought it but I have to make sure that everybody is online, everybody is subscribed so that they have an opportunity to win. So that's why I'm not releasing that as yet. Alright? Thanks again. See you next time.